What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here, and yes, I am playing Star Wars Battlefront today, but we will get into that in just a second. I wanted to quickly let you guys know that for the next week and a half or so, I'm going to be in and out of town quite a bit. Uh, going to see friends and family that I either haven't seen in a few weeks, months, or even years. And uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that unfortunately that's not going to really leave me a whole lot of time, or at least the time that I would like to put aside in order to get you guys some DayZ footage and stuff like that. Um, I do expect us to have a uh, new DayZ Overpock video up by the end of next week at the very latest. Um, but I can't exactly say how, how, how much of those episodes are going to be up next week. Uh, I am actually in the process of getting together some more videos for you guys, uh, probably some more Battlefront, uh, some Forest gameplay, and some other gameplay that I don't want to reveal to you guys quite yet because I want it to be a surprise and hopefully you guys enjoy it or if it pisses you off, it pisses you off. Either way, those videos are going to be up next week and like, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that you guys have something to watch while I'm going to be in and out of town. So that was my little uh, update for the channel and everything. Uh, please do bear with me as I uh, try to have a, a personal life on the side as well as try to do the YouTube thing as well. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into why I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront. Um, over the weekend, Origin, of all places, had a sale. I, I fucking hate Origin. Let, let me just go off on a short rant real quick. I hate origin with a passion. I've hated it since the day that I got it when Battlefield 4 came out and I've hated it ever since. That's why I really don't use origin that often. Um, but yeah, origin was actually having a sale on a few games uh, over the weekend or late last week. I can't exactly remember when the sale started, but I know it ended on uh, this past Sunday. Um, Star Wars Battlefront was 20 bucks and keep in mind that was just the base game. That's no DLC or anything special like that. It's not the deluxe super crackhead suck your dick in many ways edition because you paid this extra money. Um, it was just the base game, you know, that people, most people at least, paid $60 for almost uh, an entire year ago. So, yeah. I got it not really expecting too much. I have heard a lot of negative reviews, more negative reviews than positive reviews on the game. But at the same time, it's Star Wars, and it's a first-person shooter. That's really what I got into when I first started doing YouTube, was first-person shooters. Actually, if you go back and watch some of my first videos, you guys will actually see that this used to be a Black Ops 2 channel. It was going to be a Call of Duty channel originally. I don't know if you guys remember that. I probably don't, because I probably had like five or six subscribers back then. Um, but yeah, this, this was originally going to be like a Call of Duty channel, and then I realized, fuck, everybody's doing Call of Duty. This probably isn't the best idea. Um, so, you know, that's when I decided to take a really long break and then come back to YouTube to do some DayZ stuff and Arma 2 and Arma 3 stuff. But like I said, you know, this is a Star Wars game. It's a Star Wars game that's also first-person shooter, so I really wanted to check it out. I wanted to see if all the negative reviews and all the... All the shit talk about this game was true, and I gotta say that right now, at least, I'm not really noticing anything bad with the game. I mean, yes, it is your standard first-person shooter game that comes out nowadays. Hey, you know, we got this awesome game coming out. Spend $60 on it. Oh, wait, a couple months later, there's, you know, 15, you spend 15 and $20 to get a couple new maps, maybe a couple of characters, some guns or something like that. And then over the course of the year, they end up making you spend, at the very least, if you were to get the base game and all the DLC for these games, you would be spending $120 or more, depending on, you know, obviously where you live, what your currency rate is, and all this other shit. And it just gets into this big, ridiculous game and it's it, it's stupid i've always hated that about first person shooter games like call of duty and battlefield and now obviously star wars battlefront i just really don't like the fact that game developers will put out a game and you know they say hey we know that you spent 60 dollars on the base game but then we're gonna charge you another 60 dollars to give you shit that should have just been in the game to begin with that's why i hate dlcs so much it's it's stuff 
that either should have been in the game when you release the fucking thing, or it should be stuff that you over time give to the community for free. Now I understand that, you know, you have to do this stuff to make money. I get that. But I mean, for people who paid for the base game, give them some kind of discount or something, you know? It, I, I, I don't know. There, there's probably pros and cons to having the DLC set up like this and everything. So I'm not really gonna try to get into a debate with anybody. I'm just giving you my opinion on the whole DLC thing. And I know that I went on a longer rant than I probably should have on that. I do apologize, but let's go ahead and get into the things that I really like about Star Wars Battlefront. So as far as, you know, the gameplay and everything is concerned, like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's, it's to me at least, it's a lot different from uh, games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. I mean, I, I know it's basically well, not basically. I know it's somewhat like Battlefield, just with Star Wars slapped on top of it and just layered over it. Um, but I did enjoy Battlefield 4, you know, quite a bit more than I enjoyed any of the Call of Duty games. Um, well, I don't know about any of the Call of Duty games. Black Ops 2 was probably my favorite Call of Duty game. Um, but I mean, e even that, you know, Call of Duty for the PC has gone to shit ever since that game came out. I mean, in, in a lot of people's opinions, it was shit even before uh, Black Ops 2 came out. So I bought this game for 20 bucks, tried it out, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it to the point where I was like, okay, well, the season pass is on sale for like 30 or $35 right now, and that'll give me all the DLC and everything that's already out, and all the DLC that'll be coming out in the future. So I went ahead and paid for not only the base game, but also the season pass that'll give me all the DLC, and I gotta admit, as of right now, I'm happy with it. But the thing about first person shooters, or at least for me is, the replayability factor is almost zero. I haven't really played too much of Battlefront because I don't want to get too bored of it too quickly. And I think that's why a lot of first person shooter games tend to die out very quickly is because people will get on for the first couple of months, you know, the, the hype will just get everybody on there for the first couple of weeks or months or whatever. And then all of a sudden that hype starts to go down. You see the population of the community start to slowly decrease. And then within a year's time, you actually see that the game just doesn't really have that strong of a community anymore. Oh, I mean, you know, it really depends on what game, but at least in my experiences, that's how it's been. So that's why I'm trying not to play too much Star Wars Battlefront is because I don't want to get tired of it. I love the graphics. I love that you're able to play as rebels or or stormtroopers. I love the map. The map design. Oh my god, the map designs in this game fucking amazing. The sounds, the music, everything. I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've been a Star Wars fan ever since my parents put on the Empire Strikes Back on VHS when I was a little kid and I saw Darth Vader walking through that fucking that rebel base on Hoth and everything and it was oh god that that movie just it, it, it changed my life it, it really did it, it changed everything um, and, and I know for some of you guys you're probably like oh god here here goes another one of these fucking people that say Star Wars changed their life or whatever, but I mean, you know, for, for me at least, Star Wars has been a very important part of my life. Um, it has definitely been the most entertaining franchise, even at its low points. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about all the low points. I mean, there was Attack of the Clones, but I don't want to talk about that movie. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really want to overplay this game because I don't want to get bored of it too quickly. I don't want the hype to die off like it has, at least for me, in most first-person shooter games. So yeah, but I mean, as far as, you know, spending $20 on the game, like on the base game alone, that was well worth it to me. So I mean, if you guys who have not played Battlefront yet, if you're interested, I would say wait till it goes on sale. I don't really know if it's worth spending full price on it. As, as a matter of fact, I don't even think that right now it's still full price at $60. I think that it's marked down to 40 something for just the base game. Um, I would definitely wait to see it go on sale or something like that if you're interested at all in playing this game. 
it's definitely one of those games where you can waste a good hour or two in and, you know, be, be entertained. Like I said, though, I would not want to play it every day because I don't want to get bored of it too quickly so but let me know what you guys think jump in the comment section down below and let me know if you guys have played battlefront what do you guys think about it and if you haven't played battlefront are you interested at all does this video make you any more interested in the game i know i haven't given too many uh good points as to why you should buy the game but i mean from from my own perspective i can say that it was definitely worth spending the 20 dollars on the base game and then after playing the base game for a while, I said, okay, I don't mind throw, you know, I don't mind throwing down $35 or whatever the fuck it was to actually get the season pass, which includes the DLC that's already come out and the DLC that'll be coming out in the near future. So like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button if you guys like this video. And hey, if, if you guys dislike the video and you want to click that thumbs down button, sure, go ahead. I got no problem with that. But, you know, let, let, let me know why you didn't like the video. That way I can try to improve things in the future and try to hopefully make things to where you guys can enjoy everything. So anyways, guys, it's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one.